What is no vig betting and why is it profitable? Welcome to Juice Bets. My name is Trevor, and today we're going to be talking about vig, juice, tax, whatever you want to call it, what sports book put on bets, how you can end up betting with it, without it, with no vig betting, and why it's profitable, and how it leads to plus EV, positive expected value betting. So let's look at it. Um, we've got on Odds Jam here, link down below. Odds Jam, a great tool, or sorry, a great software with a bunch of tools to you know be able to bet profitably over time. So check it out, money back guarantee, 30 days, you can try it. And if you don't like it, um, no risk at all. So uh, what is no VIG betting here? So let's talk about what VIG is. So Sportsbook will Sportsbook will basically put a tax on the odds that they're offering you on your bets, right? So they need to be profitable, the Sportsbook, they need to be able to make money basically on regardless of, you know, let's let's assume that there's a, the same amount of money coming in on both sides they want to make money you know regardless of 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 who's betting on what right so like this article says say DraftKings offers the money line odds for the Lakers and the Celtics at minus 110 for the Celtics minus 110 for the Lakers so that basically means that it's a 50 50 chance and the reason why is because if it actually was 50 50 without the vig it would be plus 100 or even money for both of them but since they have the vig on it they take an extra 10 cents on each bet so they make it so instead of you know paying out let's say one better places on the celtics and another better places it on the wagers or the, the wagers places on the lakers they wager 110 on each instead of let's say without the vig it'd be even money if you place 110 on the celtics and the celtics end up winning right the the better wins 110 dollars back right and and uh, this better this better loses 110. So the sports book loses 110 and gains 110. Nothing happens. The reason they put that vig on is so now DraftKings would pay 110 profit to the Celtics, and then they would uh, sorry yeah they would pay 100 profit to the Celtics because it's minus 110 on a 110 dollar bet. So 100 goes out, but from that from the losing better. 110 comes in so they actually end up making ten dollars regardless of what side hits that's why there is vig right um and so bookmakers attempt to have as many betters as possible place equal and opposite wagers so they have a risk-free cash flow that's what vig is that's why they have it um so how can we get no vig right how does this work so basically no vig betting is betting without or the lowest percentage of house edge in your bet so it's finding lines, finding odds that are closest to the actual implied odds of a game's outcome, right? And so, you know, obviously, um, sports books will move the VIG depending on what lines the betters are placing money on. If, same thing, Lakers-Celtics game is, you know, minus 110 uh, for both of them, but tons of money is coming on the Celtics, they'll end up moving that Celtics to minus 120 while still keeping the Lakers, you know, around here. Maybe they'll shift it slightly, but they basically... They want to mitigate their risk. So anyways, no VIG betting is calculating what the no VIG, the fair odds are, and trying to find lines that are as close as possible to that, right? So Odds Jam makes it interesting because they, on their plus EV tool, they will show you what the no VIG odds are right here. So what you can do is you can compare these no VIG odds to the odds that you're getting, and that's where you find the value. Um, and, and basically what, what it will do is it will calculate what the actual implied, are, the implied odds are of that specific bet to hit. Removing the VIG, removing the juice and the tax that the sportsbooks put on it, it will then create the odds for you. And these odds are always a direct reflection of the percent that that bet is going to win or going to happen, right? And so then you have an accurate representation of the actual odds for something to happen, and then you find the value based off of that. So that's why the no vig odds are so important. Um, and, and so you know you can calculate calculate that using the no vigs fair odds calculator on Odds Jam. You just put the odds you know of both sides. So minus one ten, minus one ten. The no vig actual fair odds are plus one hundred, like I mentioned before. So that's what no vig odds are. Pretty simple. I mean, Odds Jam makes it even more simple than that by you know, they do it for you. So you just look at the odds, right? You just see the bets 
and they and, and they tell you you know what it is and, and basically that's how plus ev you know betting works is they compare the odds that you're getting versus the no vig the fair odds and that creates this percentage so hopefully you guys like this video found it cool um subscribe for more and we'll see you soon